Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Energy Supercross 5 here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Indianapolis. Uh, but mainly something that went down at Indianapolis here because I'm sure a lot of people would want to hear my opinion on it. Uh, maybe people won't, but maybe people will. I'm going to talk about the Barsha and Anderson thing. And yeah, um, this was crazy. Um, yeah, I'm riding on Houston 1 because, to be real, the track was basically Houston 1 copy and paste from 2021. Anyway, I do want to apologize that some... I may sneak in a, a, a dirty word in here, so I'm sorry about that. But let's get started anyway. Here we go. Indianapolis was a pretty good race. Barsha led pretty much all of the race. Um, got passed by Anderson for a second. And then the accident happened. And I say accident because, yeah, that was an accident. Um, Barsha, literally, um, that's how Barsha rides. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, we came over the finish line. This is Houston, but basically, this is the track. They came through. This was another rhythm section, but they came through. Triple right here. And Barsha... He basically went like this and met Anderson about here and slammed him. Put his hand up right away to say like, sorry, didn't mean to take you out. And yeah, and the news came out this morning that Barsha has been fined and penalized. Fined $3,000 and penalized three points. But that for all us RM Fantasy players who somehow picked Barsha second, I didn't. So this doesn't apply to me, but if you pick Barsha... For second place here in RM Fantasy SX, you are not losing points here. Um, he gets stock uh, points, not position. So he would, he does not get second place points. He gets stock three of them, but it still counts as second in the race. Um, but yeah, the uh, the penalty fine, my opinion, it's bullshit. It is. It really is. Um, here, here's why. Because how many takeouts have we seen this year? We've seen. Hell, Barsha did it to Anderson. Not as not as aggressive, not as bad, but he did it to Anderson at Anaheim one. And yeah, he just ran him up high here. Here he slammed him. But here's the thing, Anderson somehow, like the San Diego incident with Ken Rocks and. That was okay, that was, I, I'm not sure how to process that one, but the, but that was okay, but then he goes and does it, he takes out Ken Roxon again at Anaheim too, so he takes him out two weeks in a row, AMA, not, he, they give him nothing, no fine, no probation, no, as far as I know, no probation, no fine, nothing, no points docked, but then Barsha does it. And yeah, Barsha, he's had a few incidents this year. Obviously, the biggest one is the Bogle, the Bogle crime. And yeah, so my, my thing is, why, why are they penalizing for him? This Indianapolis, Indianapolis incident here, in my opinion. Now, everyone can other have other opinions, please. Please let me know what you thought of this down in the comments and we go back and forth. But in my opinion, this was not penalty worthy. This was a racing incident in my opinion. And plus, that's how Barsha rides. If you've watched Barsha throughout his uh, career, um, since 2018 though, he has gotten more patient. But, you've watched Barsha ride throughout his career, this is how he races. Like. Literally, if he was racing like he did in the 250 class today, he would probably get canceled. But, um, yeah, I I don't understand. Uh, the only logical explanation me and my family could come up with is that AMA just got tired of this kind of riding. And, yeah, honestly, I mean, the best part of the heat races was probably... The 450 heat races, because 250 heat races were absolutely... One of the 250 heat races was something I've never seen before. But, um... The 450 heat race, too, when Devin Raper and 
Alex Ray got into that little punching brawl, that little fight there. Uh, I was scared that they weren't going to disqualify him because it's people that don't... Everyone, like, normal fans wouldn't know who Alex Ray is. Maybe Alex Ray a little bit more, but Devin Raper, like, they just make fun of him for his name, and I don't blame him. That is a weird name, but, yeah, I was scared, like, let me, let me just say this. Uh, if that was, uh, what's the guy, Tristan Lane on Kevin Moran's, same incident, same incident. He comes up the inside, just hits him, and and the rider goes down like say Moran Tristan Lane does that to Kevin Moran's they wouldn't do nothing about it. they they wouldn't do shit about it I right, that's just my opinion but because it's Barsha and because it's Anderson here they got to do something about it like I feel like I've heard incidences in the past where where like for example I saw this in a uh it was a JMC racing vlog. Remember the team JS, JMC? I believe they were on Husqvarna's. My dude, Chris Howell, rode for them for a little bit. But I remember they got something on video of Mitchell Harrison cutting the track. Like, completely cutting the track in Oakland 2019. And nothing, nothing certain. They literally, I'm sure they showed the AMA and AMA said, no, we're not going to do anything. But, oh, the moment a factory guy cuts the track... We're just going to penalize him because because of some stupid shit. So, in my opinion, I think the penalty is stupid. It, it wasn't... This this pass was not... The only... Like, the only thing that deserves a penalty this year was uh, freezing on Craig. In my opinion. Now, that's just my opinion. That's not fact. So... Honestly, we've seen worse this year, and I'm sure we'll see worse in the next six races or whatever it is. So, in my opinion, this pass was not penalty worthy at all. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and we can go back and forth about this. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh... I will be starting my Ken Rocks and Championship on this game very soon. Like I said, if you've watched me before, like I said, I have just been working out some settings and on this game to make it so that I can actually win, but not not right away with the championship, you know. So, yeah, that's coming very soon. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, comment your opinion on Indianapolis down below and the Barsha Anderson incident down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.